So a lot of golf as I see. Get that low squirty one out to the right. And even though I've had great club head speed and ball speed there, 203 yards carry and 227 yards total is not that impressive. Now, straight away, I want you to comment below. Is that a regular tee shot that you see, but you would much rather see something more along these lines? So a higher flight, more ball speed, potentially a different shape, and suddenly a massive carry at 254 and 283 yards total. So hopefully you've commented below that yes, you need that and that's why you're watching this video. So let's understand, first of all, what caused the first one and more importantly, what caused the second one. So there was a little bit more club head speed, but that'll all tie into what we're gonna change. So the first one, had the ball forward in my stance, had the club right behind the ball, but into impact, the club was traveling down, taking a bit of loft off, and not really making me as efficient as I could. But the second one, we had the club traveling up through impact, launching the ball higher and making me more efficient as well as swinging the club a little bit faster. So I know what you're saying, we all know that hitting up is good, as opposed to hitting downward driver if I want to maximize distance. But for a lot of golfers, when they try and hit up on the golf ball, that bad one becomes even worse with the ball curving over to the right and not going even as far, but being way offline, poor strike, despite good club head speed. So I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, wow, Ali's explaining exactly what goes on with me with driver. So let's talk about, first of all, how we're gonna make it a bit easier for you to get the club traveling up, which is by getting the low point further behind the golf ball. And the first way we're gonna do it is we're actually gonna change the way we actually get the club behind the golf ball. So we're still gonna get that ball position forward in the stance, but instead of from there then moving the club up behind the ball and it may be dragging our body and our shoulders into the wrong place. We're gonna keep the club head fairly central in our stance. So probably a good couple of club head widths back behind the golf ball. And we're gonna feel like that as we swing, we're gonna let the sternum stay pretty much in line with that as we shift into that left side. And you can see the spine tilt that creates is gonna get the ball and sorry, the club traveling up, catching the ball on the way up, low point of the swing behind the ball. Now, as good as that is, and I'll do that on this one, and I'll show you how the club travels up, but this isn't the be all and end all with this. So from there, we see that one curving over to the right. We see low point 5.4 inches behind, clubs traveled up three degrees. It was a little bit longer, but still pretty poor for that speed. So what we need to appreciate is the reason a lot of golfers hit down is as the club's traveling down towards the golf ball, you can see it's traveling more from the inside. Still might be out to win, but as the club travels up, you can see it's really starting to go out to win. So the danger is when we set up with our feet with the traditional train tracks, club on the outside track, feet on the inside track, the problem is as you're doing that and you're trying to hit up, the path of the club is becoming much more out to win. And then if you leave that club face at the target, the ball sets off at target and slices. So what we want to do is rather than stand with everything nice and square as we drop the club back, we're actually gonna close the stance off. So actually move the trail, uh, trail foot back and lead foot forward. So everything's more over to the right hand side. So as you now swing more from the inside, reach a low point, clubs traveling more neutral on the way back to the ball. And that's gonna help the path and the face be much closer together. That's gonna to give you the control. Then the low point being behind is gonna give you more distance. So then the key is more distance and accuracy. That's massively gonna help. So we're gonna set up, we're gonna aim everything that way. 
And like I said, we're gonna feel like the sternum stays in line with where the club was at address. And straight away, we're gonna to start to see a much different shot. And we see 103 mile an hour club speed, ball speed at 154, nearly 155, low point three inches behind. Club's traveled up 1.8 degrees, carries now 250 and totals 284. Now I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking I don't need to watch any more of the video because that's already a huge pickup. Well, what if I told you there's even more to pick up in there and we can enhance what we're doing to make it even further. So once we get that set up and we get that stance closed, one great way of feeling that sternum stays back behind the golf ball is as we're swinging down into impact, we wanna feel that that lead side is working up and behind. And you can see how it accentuates that spine tilt and that's gonna get the low point even further behind. It's also gonna help me move that club quicker because you can hear that little whoosh there that that's one, that's the other. So there's gonna be more club head speed. The low point's gonna move even further behind and the accuracy is there. So potentially more club head speed, more ball speed, even more efficient. Let's see, can we get out even further than we did there? So we're gonna set up as we've discussed and focus on that feeling through impact. That felt good. So we see more club head speed at nearly 106. Ball speeds jumped to nearly 158. Low points gone 6.2 inches behind. Clubs traveled up four degrees, carry at nearly 270, and total at nearly 293. So you can see, we're picking up accuracy, but most importantly, we're combining that with longer tee shots. So I've got one ball left, and if you're working through the video with me, which hopefully you are, we're gonna see if we can get even more out of that. So more club head speed, more ball speed, maybe even a little further behind. And let's see if we can get carry over 270 and total over 300. So I've got that set up. Can I really exaggerate that? pushing feeling as I'm coming into impact. So we can definitely see there, a little bit more club head speed at 107. Ball speed jumping up over 159. Low point five and a half inches behind. Attack angle 3.6. Carry at 273 and total at 296. So it was a failure on did I manage to get to 300 yards, but compare that to that very first shot that went nowhere near the fairway, but also no distance at all. To over 272 carry, nearly 300 total. I'm not promising you're gonna make that big a change, but we'll definitely get you hitting it longer and straighter by adjusting the setup and changing that feel to make you faster and more efficient and ultimately get you hitting the longest drives you've ever hit on a regular basis.